the uh, start of day seven. Richard's leaving uh, after lunch. We're having an early lunch and then he's going to leave. I'm just come in to check the BSF. It's just been raining. And this is perfect. We've got sort of water coming in. Water needs plants. These, <laughs> these plants might be the might do the best. Um, just as that, you know, we'll, we'll obviously water these ones, but they might not get as much done. Uh, anyway, so what we're doing today, so last bit of training with everybody, just going through things, and um, we've got some uh, some eggs, black sort of eggs arrived from Kampala. We just wanted to sort of go through that process for Richard. So it's the putting the eggs in a maize bran or corn, ground up corn, and then leaving them till hatch out. And I just thought I'd come and see if we've got a couple of dead flies here. That means that they're probably likely mated. Um, there's one there. Now, is that a female? That could, oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? That could actually be a female, maybe. I'm not as good as Richard at telling them, but I think because it's got slightly round, um, sort of a, is it like a, like if you look at the tail, not a tail, but you know what I mean, in the end. It's like, no, maybe that's a male, actually. They tend to be a bit smaller, and um, their abdomens are a bit rounder, so I think that might be a, a male, right? So let's just see if I can see any eggs. I keep forgetting about the camera. Uh, can I see any? No, cannot. That's okay. I mean, I think last we saw definite signs of activity around here with some more dead flies. So I'm just going to go and check these individually now um, and then see how we're going on the giant millipede. Look at the size of that thing. Pretty impressive, hey? Um, yeah, so a bit of training this morning. Richard goes off, then we'll have a staff meeting, catch up. Then I'll go home and collapse, see the family. It's been a, it's been a week, which obviously everybody misses each other. Um, be nice to see everybody again. I do have some more work to do for this week. It's, it's always like that, isn't it? It's busy up to the lead up to Christmas. Uh, and then I'll be able to relax. Just come in here and you can see it's all been freshly turned. Uh, it's got, you know, there's no water at the bottom. It's been shoveled this morning. And uh, that's just exactly what I like to see. <laughs> it only sense it's fairly early still. It's before working time. Um, but the... Shivan, who we've asked, who's looking after these, has, you know, we've said this is what needs to be done, and she's already come out here early and done it, and she's a real go-getter. It's a great attitude, so I'm really pleased with her so far. She, she you know, it's been fairly intensive. She just finished her exams, and then came straight away that evening, and then was already getting. So I think she arrived at half ten, and we were still working, and so she immediately got. Uh, came in, was asking questions, had like an hour just talking about the project. So, like, does really well with me. You can see all the all these maggots coming out, so we'll harvest those and maybe feed them to the fish currently. We just because they're excess. Um, so yeah, I like that type of attitude. I think it's really good. It's a bit weird not going to the fish farm because we, you know, I've spent so we, I've been there a few times this week, and it's not far away. It's only like a Five ten minute drive, but we've been so busy getting this polytunnel up, getting the production, training, all that sort of stuff, because that's the bit that we're less sure of, um, and so we just need to get that right. Uh, feeding them to the maggots is a little bit easier. So yeah, it's, but it's good, good, some good stuff, and, and it it's, uh, makes such a difference having some extra people on hand. Of course, we've you know we've had a couple of porters for. You know, quite a long time now, um, but there's a limit to what they're able to do, especially when I, you know, I can't communicate with them very well. Um, and so it's just great to have some some new staff. It makes a big difference. Um, they're keen, committed. Uh, they've you know got a background in agriculture, so it really just helps us to achieve our our objectives. So yeah, it's been a full-on week, absolutely, but I think really worth it and very glad that Rich was able to join us here. I think he's uh, the right man for the job because he's, um, yeah, he's just got a really good attitude. I'm happy to get stuck in, practically minded as well, not just um, academic. So, right, let's see where everybody's up to. 
This came on the bus this morning, so these are the eggs which got sent. And I may have forgotten to show you what they look like, but this is, they came in a big clump. So I can zoom in. This is roughly what they look like. That's some eggs there, eggs there. Uh, and uh, let me just focus in on you for you. So that there, some eggs. Uh, all around here and then we've put mixed in some maize you can see some eggs here as well Let's see if I can zoom in so these, there's about five grams of eggs here and um, we can throw those out so we zoom in how much focus can we get oh that's pretty good focus we can hold, hold it steady so those are the eggs we've got five grams in each of these Tupperwares, we'll, some of them are ready to hatch out. You, Richard was showing us, we've got a little magnifying glass, you can see black spots where the eyes are being formed. Uh, so those will be ready. Let me just leave them in here to hatch. And then we'll put five grams in each of these bays. And then, sorry, it's a bit of a mess here at the moment. And then we will feed it with the substrate, about 100 uh, liters, 100 kilograms for five, grams of eggs that's what we're looking at which is more more than we can accommodate that easily in here but we could put more in if we needed to so yeah not bad so we've got the last hour with Richard and before lunch we're just doing a bit of training so we're doing a pop quiz on just uh, some of the numbers around this because I think that's where we're going to struggle Put some on this mesh, which is a bit finer, and just call a bunch there. And now we're just going to weigh them. What's the the weight, Pawson? What's the weight? Uh, this is uh, sixty-three. Sixty-three. Uh, this is enough for a few heifers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 60.3, yeah. Mm -hmm. Desperate to see some uh, egg laying for Richard goes. We think this one might be ready to lay. Can you see that um, abdomen? It's quite brown. Uh, and then just over here. Uh, yeah, can you see some of them emerging? Lost it. See, this one's just come out, so the wings not flying very well. Looks a bit not lighter in colour. There's another one there, wriggling around. So, yeah, this is good, they're still emerging. There's quite a variation in different sizes that we had here, so. So, yeah. Well, I can see there's quite a few crawling out. I think the temperature's just gone above 25 because it's quite cool because it's raining. So I think that Rich was saying he reckons that's the trigger. A bit more activity and it's definitely buzzing around more than they were half an hour ago, an hour ago. I want to encourage them to lay here, not up there somewhere. We've still, I think we've got a bit of work just to tidy up some of this so we don't get flies going on the other side of that wood and then laying. But Richard, I think you've got it's about lunchtime, really. We should be mm. heading off. I believe his beloved flies. Mm. And they've enjoyed seeing them all. But you might miss some egg laying from the slot, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. I'm sure you keep me updated. Day seven is done. Uh, we ate, you know, half a day today. Just got back. We, uh, I stayed on after Richard left and just did a bit of, sort of you know, staff meeting type things. But I think we've pretty pleased with the progress so far um, done really well I think for the short time we had and it's pretty good I'm just about to show the got home just got to show the family the um, footage of what we've done um, and you know as you so obviously you reflect upon your week I think it's been good it's been really good so pleased with it and hope you've enjoyed watching us as we follow the, the series um, there'll be further updates so I'll let you know how it goes when we start the trial hopefully next week so 
not too long to wait and then we'll be cooking and really getting this project going. So let me stay with my family, enjoy that, have a coffee and show them the footage. All right, thanks and bye, see you next time.